Hello and welcome to another All Nation Line video. Today we want to discuss a do-it-yourself project that may be of interest to model builders that are 3D printing their own parts. If you're using an FDM printer and filament, it's widely known that filament has a tendency to absorb, absorb moisture, particularly in more humid environments. And as a result, it can give you problems printing good quality parts. In front of you is a computer case, an old Hewlett Packard computer case that we gutted and used to develop our own dry box for handling two spools at a time. I open it up here to show you that what we did after we took the insides out completely, we used foam board to insulate the box and we have a muffin fan here where the power supply would have been mounted and we turned it so if we needed to force air into the box, we could use a small small bolt DC power supply to run the fan. We may or may not use it. We'll see. So, the other items in the box are torn down hard drives. The hard drives were dead, so we took them apart. And typically, we like to repurpose whatever we can so it doesn't go in the landfill. And if you've ever had a hard drive apart, one of the nicest features inside is the bearing that the platters were mounted on. It's a high precision bearing. <clears throat> it typically would run your platters at about 7,200 RPM. And uh, these bearings are very smooth. Uh, they don't tend to wobble, of course, because reading and writing to the platters in your hard disk is a very precise process. So if you have dead hard drives, one component inside that is very reusable sometimes are these bearings. So we took and used the base of the hard drive and some sheet metal screws and mounted these two inside the box. And in order to accommodate the spools that we want to dry, we created this part in the CAD program so that the spools can just sit on top of the bearing and rotate. And the reason we wanted to use bearings rather than just having a fixed mounting is we can set this up so that two printers can draw the filament out of the box through holes that we'll put here where the CD-ROM drives were and utilize the filament from inside the box. So that therefore, this nice smooth rotation is ideal for that purpose. The thing about hard disk drives though sometimes is you'll note that like in this little three and a half inch drive, the diameter of this bearing is quite large compared to uh, the other hard disk drives. So we would modify this in our CAD program to accommodate uh, our various spools that we want to set in here. And when we set them in, <clears throat> we'll show you in a minute what it looks like here by putting in the first spool, which would set in there, rotates very nicely. We can swap these out depending on the brand of spool and what their diameters are here and just sneak that in there like this and set it in there and now we have the second one that'll rotate nicely in there without really interfering with the other one now the heat source that i'm going to use is called a damp chaser and this particular damp chaser is going to be 18 inches long go diagonally across the box we'll mount it in there or suspend it and it's 12 watts and those are typically used in pianos to heat piano actions and to keep the moisture stable inside an instrument such as a piano and if moisture gets into a piano of course it can affect the action the felts the wood 
and depending on what part of the country you're in and how humid your environment is, it's highly recommended in, in a musical instrument. So we're going to use that. We'll utilize a thermometer. We'll drop that in or stick it in so we can keep an eye on the temperature because for different filaments we're going to want different temperature levels. And in order to control the heating element, which is the damp chaser element, we're going to use a product called Autopilot. Typically, I think you can find those in aquariums or hydroponic shops or order them online. And this comes with a probe that goes inside the box and you can set your temperatures for your day or your night. So if you needed 65 degrees, you could set your dials, plug in your uh, heating element and it will turn on and off to keep the temperature at a stable level inside the box. You could probably also put some silica gel bags in there to help absorb moisture. Uh, we'll experiment with that. But in any case, we hope that this little short video gives you some ideas and helpful hints on uh, making your life 3D printing and 3D printing your objects of higher quality with this simple means of keeping your filament moisture at low levels.